is up guys, it is me Max back again with another guitar tutorial and today we're going to take a look at Original Me by Youngblood featuring Dan Reynolds of Imagine Dragons. What a collaboration and what an amazing song that came out of this whole thing. I freaking love it. And first up, now don't panic, we are not in standard tuning, we're actually half a step down. Adjusting to that is super easy. If you don't have a guitar tuner at home, there are plenty, and I mean plenty of tuner apps on the app store of the mobile device of your choice. So pick one, I recommend Fender Tune, not a sponsor, but a very accurate guitar tuner for your phone. So download that and you'll be fine. There are two reasons why we're doing that. First of all, it makes it easier because we're dealing with standard chord shapes. Second of all, there is a pretty deep and dark vibe to the song. And I think transposing it up to like capo onto the first or sixth fret or something in standard tuning doesn't quite do it justice because it's not the same sound. It's just a lot brighter, a lot more cheerful. And that's not what this song is about, which is why we're half a step down like he is. You can hear that in his whole bridge guitar riff. We'll get to that later. And before we get started though, my Instagram is down in the description. So if you wanna to talk to me or see what's going on in my life or something along those lines, I would be more than happy to see you over there. And some of my main Spotify playlists are down there as well. So if you are into the music that I cover on this channel, you will most likely enjoy those playlists. So be sure to check those out as well. Without any further ado, let's roll. One last quick disclaimer. I'm gonna be referring to the chords by the name that goes along with the shape we're gonna be using. So one quick example here. Our first chord looks like a G, but since we're half a step down, it is actually an F sharp note, which would usually be on the second fret. So if you're playing along on like a piano or something and are using this video to figure out the chords, you'll obviously have to watch out for that. But now let's get to it. Our first chord, as I mentioned, is going to be a G. We place our first finger, which is the index finger, on the second fret on the fifth string, second finger on the third fret on the sixth string, and third finger on the third fret on the first string. The next chord we'll be needing in the verse is going to be an A minor. We've got our first finger on the first fret on the second string, second finger on the second fret on the fourth string, and third finger on the second fret on the second string. And now we'll have to mute the sixth string, and we do that by taking our thumb, wrapping it around the top of our guitar neck here, and slightly touching that sixth string. So we've got the G, the A minor, and the last chord we need for the verse is going to be an E minor. So we take our second finger and put it onto the second fret on the fifth string, and our third finger, and we put that onto the second fret on the fourth string. So our chords are G, A minor, and E minor. So what do we do with those chords? We start on our G, and we go down, 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 up, up, down. Down, 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 up, up, down. Now we jump onto the A minor and go down, up, down, up. And we do the whole thing twice. So we go. And now we do the exact same thing between the E minor and once again, the A minor. And then we go back onto the G, obviously, and we repeat that whole riff over and over again. So that should sound like this. And in order to make transitioning onto the next chord easier, on that A minor, you can actually go so down, up, down, and on that last up, you already lift your fingers off 
and move on to the next chord, but you don't actually go on to the next chord, you just use the time to transition over to that next shape. So it's... Or... That makes the whole thing a lot easier. In the pre-chorus, we just go down once on the G. We hold that for a bit, and then we go down once on the E minor. Now, what do we do in the chorus? We start off on the G again, and we go down twice. And then we mute the strings. We do that by taking our right hand and just placing it on those strings. Then we do that again. And then we go G, A minor. So it's... Then we've got our last or second to last new chord, which is a C. It's very easy to switch from the A minor onto the C because we only have to move our third finger. Our first finger is on the first fret on the second string, second finger is on the second fret on the fourth string, and third finger on the third fret on the fifth string. And once again, we'll have to mute that sixth string. And once again, we do that by taking our thumb, wrapping around the top of our guitar neck here and slightly touching it over here. And now we go down twice on the C, mute the strings, do that again, and finish it off on an A minor. So it's... Now we go back to the G, and the second time we play it, we go... So it's down, down again. And then we go two empty strokes and go up, up, down. Like that. The empty strokes are just there in order to make it easier to keep that rhythm, because by just going... That's a bit harder to, you know, get in sync with the song. But we've got that down. Then we go down twice once more and go G A minor again as we did before. And now we do the exact same thing we did on the C before. Down twice and down twice again. And we finish it off by going C. That's our last new chord. First finger on the second fret on the third string, second finger on the second fret on the first string, and third finger on the third fret on the second string. And this time around, we'll have to mute both the sixth and the fifth string. So we take our thumb, we wrap around even further, and we mute those two strings. We don't push down here, we just slightly touch them. So the whole thing sounds like this. go back to the verse. And when we play that verse, the first time after that first chorus, we go... So everything is the exact same way as before, but we leave out that first transition from G onto A minor and just stay on that G for that first part. So we go... And then we go back to E minor, A minor, that whole thing. So there's just that teeny tiny change in there. So I just wanna, you know, put you guys in on that because, well, it makes a difference to me and I hope it does to you as well because it's the tiny things that make it fun. Another thing that changes is the pre-chorus before the second chorus is actually the chorus. Man, that's been a lot of choruses, but bear with me, we just play the chorus riff right before the actual chorus starts. So there's not much to it, it's not too crazy, but 
That's how it works. So there's only one part left, which is the bridge. In that bridge, we only go back and forth between the E minor and the C. But we obviously wanna get that rhythm right. So what he does here is he goes. So we go down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. And we do that twice. Not only do we do the whole thing twice, but we play the rhythm twice on each chord, obviously. And that is the entire song. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, drop it a thumbs up. Helps me out more than you might think it if you haven't done so already. Go in and hit that subscribe button. It's somewhere down there. And as always, I hope that I will see you guys next time.